Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Kristen, and today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top 20 of 2020. So you guys, let's jump into it. It's a quick video for 20 of my favorite DIYs, under 20 minutes, so let's go. If I could go back and make things right, I would have it. Okay, so for number 20 is just a quick little wreath. This wreath was purchased from Walmart, and this welcome sign was from Goodwill, it was a 309, and I just stuck this on my front door for winter last year, and it was such a simple, quick DIY to do, but it is so pretty, and I loved the wooden piece. I think it was originally from Target, but like I said, this one was really easy, so it came in at number 20. This one right here was my first mop head DIY. It's with a white and gray along with this little basket. And then the only thing I did here was just take some hot glue and wrap this all around. This did take quite a bit of time just because the glue kept kind of falling through the basket. Definitely used like a solid basket. I mean, I loved the shape of this one, so I'm super happy with the way it turned out in the end. But it was just was quite time consuming uh, just because I had to glue so much. Like you don't really... Usually have to with like rope, you can just kind of take your time, but this just was not staying the way I wanted, so I did have to do a lot of glue, but like I said, in the end, it's super cute. I love the way this turned out, and then I just added some Walmart greenery to the inside, and there you have it coming in at 19. And I ain't gonna chase no rabbits, you said it's not as bad as all that. is these happy birthday boxes. They came in a bunch of different shapes. I bought three different sizes, sanded the tops down to take off the glitter, and then I just painted them with a Waverly chalk paint in white, and I also distressed them with a Waverly chalk paint in elephant. And I love this little color combination. It's such a gives it all the farmhouse vibes, all of it. I love the way these turned out. The only thing I did not like is I did end up messing up uh, with the decals. I used my Silhouette Studio, cut these out, you can always do like free printables, something similar to this if you don't have a silhouette. But um, yeah, I love how these turned out except I did mess up on one because I did have it up too high when I added the tops. But overall, I really like these and these are only $3 to make which make it even better. So like I said, everything was from Dollar Tree for this one. Coming in at number 17 is this cookie tin. This was 309 from Goodwill, and I just painted it with this Waverly chalk paint in celery. And I really love this color. And once that was done, I think I did not have to do a couple coats. I did not end up painting the bottom, but nobody ever seen the bottom of this when they came into my house. I still actually have this. I love using it. I put all sorts of things in here, wax melts, little candles, stuff you don't want to see, but you do want to keep it in your kitchen. And I'm just taking a makeup sponge and kind of putting it around the edges to give it that, like, I want to say distressed look, but the little, I came, I just wanted to give it this little look. I can't think off the top of my head what it is, but this was really simple. I love doing thrift store makeovers, and this only cost $3.09, and it is so cute. I used a decal off of Silhouette Studio, bakery, bread pies, cakes. And this is what it looks like. So for three bucks, I think this looks like something from Hobby Lobby for at least 20, but I love this. For 16 is these terracotta pots. These were from Dollar Tree this year, and I loved the lines that they had around the edges. And you can just use acrylic paint. You don't have to use chalk paint for terracotta pots just because it goes on so well anyways. But then it also dries really, really fast. So I did end up going back in with some Waverly chalk paint in white just to give it a little bit distressed look. I love how these turned out. And this only costs two bucks to make. I always use and reuse the boxwood. But I love the texture that these terracotta pots had just in the regular terracotta pots because they have the lines through them. So anyways, 
I don't know how many times I just had to say terracotta pots, but add some greenery to these and you have some super, super cute decor. Number 15, I'm just using one of these mason jar signs. This was some sort of fall DIY sign or fall, wasn't a DIY sign. It was a fall sign from Dollar Tree and I'm just painting it black. I did already paint it white. I think I was going to do something with this, never did, but I thought this would be really cute to turn it into like a little milk jug. If you didn't already tell or already know or watched my videos before, I love the farmhouse decor. So I did make a stencil using my silhouette. And then I just ended up painting it in with a white chalk paint. And then to give it some more texture, I just went along the edges and just did some dry brushing. Not easy making promises. You got a habit of moving on. And so you'd rather be anonymous. You said it's not as bad as all that. Just need to take it Number 14 is this free chair I found on the side of the road. It was stinky, it was gross, but I knew it had such a good potential. So I just sanded it down. I added the Kills primer. I don't know why that took me so long to think of. And then I just did some painting with some chalk paint. And I love the way this turned out. I loved it on my front porch. I think this was so good. I just added a decal to the top. And that was it for this one. We've got plenty of time to Number 13 is just a window frame used being four of these canvases from the Dollar Tree, tearing them apart, painting them with the Waverly chalk paint in elephant, along with dry brushing with the Waverly chalk paint in white, gluing them together, adding a wooden piece, some greenery, and a home sign from Goodwill. Of is another thrift flip. I know that this sign was either $1.09 or $2.09. Use the Waverly chalk paint in white along with the Waverly wax and antique. Distressed it just a little bit around the edges. Used a decal from my Silhouette Studio, Fresh Flower Market, and then I just added some florals from the Dollar Tree and a bow in the center. Take my hand and make this life. Whoa, whoa. Number 11 is another thrift flip. This also, I think this was actually free. I can't remember exactly where this came from off the top of my head, but I am just going to be painting it in the Waverly Chalk Paint in white. And at the bottom side, I'm going to be actually using the Celery color by Waverly Chalk Paint as well. And then I'm just going to be amping it up a little bit with a decal, some new moss in the center, and a cute little bird that was from Hobby Lobby. stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder How 
look. Number 10, I'm going to be using these candlesticks from Hobnobbin. My friend Shyla sells them over on her Etsy store. I always link her stuff in the description box below using Dollar Tree signs and making just some cute little standing signs. I'm going to be gluing these on top of the candlesticks. Just painted those black using some decals off my Silhouette Studio. I love using the Silhouette just because it just makes everything just look a little bit more nicer. So I absolutely love using it. So grab a paper from Hobby Lobby, glued them all together, and you have some really cute standing farmhouse signs. In the sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Number nine is this sign that I made for fall. I love this. I'm just using a Dollar Tree calendar and I just glued it to some foam board and then I just used some cubes from the Dollar Tree, these little wooden cubes, and I used about two to three packages of these. I will link all of the videos in the description box so you guys want to check out longer tutorials, but this turned out so good. Added some greenery and some pumpkins and there I had it was a cute inexpensive sign. How come the trees get undressed when it's cold? Until winter comes, until winter comes, until winter comes. It really makes me wonder. Number eight, I am going to be making a cute little planter with this snuggle sign that cost me absolutely nothing because I was just going to throw it away, anyways. Some nautical rope from the Dollar Tree, wrapped it all around, and then I had a small little sign from Dollar General, and I just cut that apart added the cow right to the center and added some lavender and some boxwood and that's it for this one Dark. I used a sign from Goodwill and a home sign from the Dollar Tree and I just used a few paints to make a galvanized look and I just used a little sponge to dab all the paint on to make it look more galvanized and then I just glued it all together along with a little tiny wreath I had from a Walmart find and I glued some boxwood to that and I had a cute little sign for under $3. Six was a fun one. I used these two items to create an ornament. It is a farmhouse ornament. I used my silhouette and did some layering. I used some Waverly chalk paint or some Waverly and plaster. Put this together, put a cute little cow right in the center, and then I just used that little bell from the wind chime to add to the bottom to make a cute little cow bell. I think this turned out so, so great and it was so quick and easy to make. Really makes me wonder. five just gives me such a farmhouse boho feel. I loved making these. I just used some signs from Dollar Tree, painted them with a Waverly chalk paint and this was in moss and then I just ended up dry brushing with a Waverly wax and antique, gluing them together, throwing in some scrapbook paper uh, from Hobby Lobby and then adding a wreath to the center and I absolutely love the way these look. So stinking cute and they look so high end for Dollar Tree items. Number 
therefore I'll be making a door hanger with two of these tag signs from Dollar Tree Waverly Chalk Paint in Moss. And then I'm just going to be painting this one, another one white, just dressing it a little bit and adding a decal to the front. And these look so stinking cute on the door. So I loved this little stackable farmhouse one along with the other one that says welcome. I tried giving you my heart. Now I know you didn't want it. Thought that we could work it out, but it's no use. I think I'm better off alone. Yeah, I'm feeling good without you. Now I don't want nothing to do with you. I tried to be perfect and keep you. Happy all the time. Number three is with four of these Dollar Tree signs, glue them together, paint them, and add a cute little sticker from Dollar General along with some handles on the edges to make a cute little tray. If you guys haven't checked out my top Christmas DIYs of this year, I will leave that in the description box below because it is on there as well. But this is actually one of my favorite DIYs I made all year long. But I didn't know that you wanted somebody else now i don't want nothing to do with you it's all right it's okay i don't need you anyway so let me be i'm doing fine don't you waste your precious time i don't want want you back no you'll hurt hurt me bad it's all right for you even though you gave me nothing back I guess that I was in enough Number two is another Christmas DIY. It is this chalkboard. I'll be using the Waverly Chalk Paint and Ink and painting the entire thing because I am not going to be using it as a chalkboard. I'm just going to actually attaching a wreath from Dollar General along with an ornament in the center from Dollar General as well. And this just made a super gorgeous like rustic farmhouse uh, Christmas piece and I love this one. I will definitely be keeping this up every single year in my home. Tried to be perfect and keep you happy all the time. But I didn't know that you wanted somebody else. Now I don't want nothing to do with you. It's alright, it's okay. And number one is this wheelbarrow I made out of a lunch meat container and some little wooden dowels from the Dollar Tree. I just spray painted this black, used a little cardboard wheel. This was so stinking cute. I loved the way this turned out. I used my silhouette and cut out a decal. It says flower market on it. Added some lavender and some greenery to this. And this just made a great spring piece. I absolutely love this. This cost nothing to make. I had everything on hand, and I think that is why it's my favorite. But it turned out so good, and it's a lunch meat tray, and nobody would ever, ever know. But I hope you guys liked my top 20 of 2020. It wasn't all a bad year. I am so glad we all got through this together. YouTube was definitely my outlet, and I hope that I helped just a little bit to make your year a little bit better and a little bit more fun. But if you guys like this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, I would love if you consider sticking around and subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!